dear learners welcome to another case study session continuing the trend this time we will explore an interesting case study based upon a unique type of tourism before directly going to the case study let me ask a question to all of you how many of you believe in the saying that journey matters more than the destination in fact to date we have studied that it is the destination that pulls tourists and starts the tourism process have you ever thought about a type of tourism that is not based on the destination only come with me and let us learn about an interesting case study about highway tourism of haryana after studying this unit you will be able to appreciate the historical background of highways and its importance for the growth of tourism understand the story behind the development of the unique concept of highway tourism by the state of haryana list the various highway services and infrastructure available in the state of haryana and last to know about diversification plan of haryana tourism related to highway services so let's begin first of all we will study about highway and its history from time immemorial routes or in modern language highways have been the lifeline of a country throughout history we have evidences that greater civilizations had given due importance to development of roadways and highways be it ancient travel routes of egypt or the roman appian way or you can take example of persian royal road as well as the silk road of china even the indian history is not an exception to this fact evidence from archaeological and historical sources indicates that several methods of road constructions were known to indian nadran as well as western india is in the period around 300 to 150 bce had a network of well built roads this example of modern empire which is one of the mighty empire of indian history generally recognized that the unity of a great empire depend upon the quality of its roads Further, other emperors in the history, like Sher Shah Suri, Mughal emperors, and later Britishers, all had given due importance to development of highways and established facilities for the travellers on every important road in their empire, and this even led to success of their empires. After understanding the history of highway, one thing is clear, and all the above examples reinforce that. Routes and highways have played a key role in establishment and development of many countries from centuries. When it comes to the case of tourism, transportation is yes another important factor. We have already studied that transportation is one of the main component of tourism. Without development of different types of roads as well as mode of transportation and related infrastructure, a tourism resource cannot be converted into a consumable tourism product. it is the ease of accessibility which help tourists to reach a destination and enjoy the attractiveness of the destination particularly transportation has many fold importance once a tourist reach a destination in order to travel within the destination to explore the different aspect of the destination road transportation and highways are very crucial in case of a country like india which has a great expansion highway have contributed much in development of tourism in the country keeping in mind the importance of transportation for tourism as well as overall development of the country some states have even gone one step ahead they have understood its importance so well that they have developed a new type of tourism which is especially based on highways so we will in this case study explore an interesting case about haryana haryana as a state has explored and rather exploited its state highways and national highways to become a case or a leading example in highway tourism let us discuss about haryana first where is haryana and what all is about haryana in history haryana is a state in the northern part of india its area is 44212 square kilometers according to 2011 census its population is around 2.5 crore its capital city is chandigarh the main language spoken in haryana is hindi hinduism sikhism islam and christianity are the major religions which are followed in haryana according to lit data the literacy rate in haryana is 75% It has 22 districts, 140 blocks, and it has around 7,350 villages. This means that Haryana, as a state, is very important. The state is bound by Uttar Pradesh in the east, Punjab in the west, Himachal Pradesh in the north, 
and Rajasthan in the south. The national capital territory of Delhi, which is very important, juts into Haryana. The name Haryana means the abode of God. It is blend of two Sanskrit words, Hari which means God and Aina meaning home. Haryana means coming of God at home. The state has a proud history going back to Vedic age. The mystic Saraswati river has its relationship with Haryana. The great epic of Mahabharata and Kurukshetra is well known to everybody. Kurukshetra is a city in Haryana. Also in the medieval history of India, Haryana has an important place. The wars of Taravadi or the three wars of Panipat are ample example that Haryana played a crucial role in the advent of Muslim and the rise of Delhi as an imperial capital of India. Also, there were many freedom fighters who have presented and promoted Haryana during the freedom struggle of India. This state came into existence on 1st November 1966 after separation from Punjab. After understanding Haryana, its history, now we will discuss about the highway and its importance for Haryana as a state. As we have already discussed that Haryana has an important place in Indian history. Rather, it is being called a gateway to northern India. Many invaders from ancient times invaded India through Haryana. The route which they followed was of course passing through Haryana. And thus Haryana had witnessed many invasions and wars. Also, one of the most important trade routes linking Delhi with Lahore, Multan and Kabul in the north passed all across the length of Haryana. Some of the major halting points falling on the route were actually major cities of Haryana. The other important trade route passing through Haryana linked Delhi with Jaipur and Ajmer in the southeast via Pataudi and Rivadi. Beside these trade routes, there were also regular routes that act as feeder channels. Such an important network of roads passing through Haryana made it an important region, both politically and from the point of view of promoting trade and commerce. After discussing about Haryana, as well as the important strategic location it enjoys, let us discover about tourism and its potential in Haryana. Though mythologically, Haryana has great significance be it the war of Mahabharata or the Vedic ancient literature. But from tourism point of view, Haryana lacks rich tourist attraction base. Neither it has mountains like Jammu Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh, nor it is rich in forests like Madhya Pradesh and Kerala. It also lack in wildlife sanctuaries. It also lack in natural lakes and rivers. And it does not even have outstanding landscape. As far as the monumental heritage is concerned, Haryana also is deficit. It does not have forts and palaces like Rajasthan or it does not have temples like Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Yes, it do have places like Kurukshetra and few others associated with lords and legends of Mahabharata and subsequent phases of history. But it does not have tangible physical evidence that can attract tourists and behold tourists for a longer duration. Even the culture, folk tradition, art and craft, music and dance, fairs and festivals of Haryana are not as rich as that of Rajasthan, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat. So, even it does not have an extraordinary appeal for tourists like the other states of India. Once they realize that they are deficit in tourism attractions, the resource base is not very strong that can attract tourists and hold tourists for a longer duration. This was a very demotivating factor for Haryana as a state. The lack of tourism attraction based in Haryana rather motivated the tourism planners to see beyond the attraction. There was a deficit of something that motivated them to think beyond and to develop an alternate strategy. With this alternate strategy, they developed tourism in India. And rather, all this happened very incidentally. And there is a very interesting story behind this, how it all started. It all started when, on one of their routine visit to Delhi in late 1970s, the then Chief Minister Shri Bansi Lal stopped at a wayside and found no decent place for a cup of tea for his accompanying official than him. He was very annoyed and he told his Principal Secretary, Mr. S.K. Mishra, to do something. Mr. S.K. Mishra was a visionary. He immediately recognized that Haryana enjoys a strategical geographical location. And this can be a blessing in disguise. And he thought to convert this strategic location into a tourism product. Haryana follows on the route of some of the magnificent tourist destinations like Delhi, Rajasthan, Western Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, as well as commercial township of Punjab and Delhi. 
any tourist who want to visit this destination have to pass through haryana and even somebody traveling for business purpose trade purpose commerce purpose they have to pass through haryana mr s k mishra thought that this can be a very important strategic location point that we can channelize and we can earn Mr Mishra and his team foresee that if proper infrastructure is created for tourists then Haryana can take benefits of its location through tourism industry this lead to emergence of concept of highway tourism students now we will study what is highway tourism highway tourism is a concept which is of course started in Haryana but it has its roots in other countries also US was a pioneer country which have started and rather they have earned a lot through highway tourism highway tourism is a type of tourism which focuses on leisure and relaxation of tourists who is visiting different destination and while traveling on road they want rest and relaxation It offers a wide variety of services to tourists like motels. Motels is a unique type of hotel. This is designed for various person traveling by automobile with convenient parking space provided. Motels serve commercial as well as business travelers and person attending convention and meeting as well as vacationer and tourist. Another facility is resort. Resort is also a type of hotel but it is more focused toward leisure and recreation. it gives you ample opportunity to have relaxation another important service is tourist hut tourist huts help you to stop relax have some food and have refreshment and then move forward same is applicable to another service which is fast food counters in a rush if you want to have a short meal break then fast food counters can be a good point similarly the snacks bars restrooms are required when you are traveling by road and the journey is very long so you need timely stops to have refreshment freshen up and then move forward and similarly while traveling by road refueling stations are of prime importance convention facilities are also required sometimes so that any type of meeting any type of seminar or exhibitions can be held in these convention facilities Shopping arcades are an extension of these services. Shopping arcades help you to buy the local souvenirs and to relish the local delicacies of the place. Children amusement centers help children to get engaged and keep them busy. So, keeping in mind all these benefits and the required infrastructure, Haryana Highway Tourism Scheme was launched. Haryana Tourism evaluated its strength and at the same time they were aware of their weaknesses. they adequately responded to the creation of infrastructure required for highway tourism at that time there was department of tourism that was responsible for development of tourism in haryana department of tourism thought that when we have to work on this very important strategic plan then we have to do something more and for this another department was created under the aegis of department of tourism A new corporation was established in the year 1974 and it was named Haryana Tourism Corporation. Haryana Tourism Corporation act as a commercial wing of State Tourism Department. Both the bodies, Department of Tourism and Haryana Tourism Corporation, do perform distinct functions but act as a complementary body to each other. The main function of department is to conduct survey identify the potential destination areas and to create the required highway tourism infrastructure whereas the corporation will be directly responsible for the running and maintenance of the infrastructure created along the highways by department of tourism later the infrastructure built by the department of tourism of haryana over the time period will be transferred to the corporation for its maintenance as well as use After establishment of Haryana Tourism Corporation the work started in different phases the first two phases happened under the able leadership of Mr S K Mishra in the first phase the sites vacation stops near to delhi were identified and tourism complexes were built in the second phase motel hotels came up at important halt points along the highway passing through haryana also tourist complexes were made to provide tourist facility at the district and sub divisional headquarters to cater to the needs of the local people as well in 1987 haryana tourism launched yet another project to provide special tourist facility this time the focus of haryana tourism was not on the tourists traveling by their own mode of transportation like car or jeep on the highways rather on the people who were traveling by public transportation 
A prominent example of this strategy was to develop highway catering services at state bus stands. Under this project, bus stands were cleared of unhygienic food counters and the journal public are provided with cleaner restaurants counters selling hygienic food, book stall and such other facilities. The main focus was to cater to the people travelling by public transportation. Fast food counter system launched at the complexes of Haryana Tourism provided inexpensive but popular food to the travelling public. So, now after understanding the scheme of Haryana tourism and how different tourism complexes were built, let us discover more about these tourism complexes. Till date, there are 42 tourist complexes that are set at strategic points along the national highways passing through the state and around Delhi with the intent of promoting leisure tourism and conference tourism. These 42 complexes are equipped with 838 air-conditioned rooms, 42 multi-cuisine restaurants, 53 convention centers and 14 filling stations. One unique thing about these tourist complexes is that their names are being based on the names of different birds. Also, the tourist complexes are theme based. For example, certain complexes are near the historic seats, for example, Yagvendra Garden Pinjor. Certain are at heritage and spiritual centers like Neelkanthi Krishna Dham Yatrinivas at Kurukshetra. Some are inside the rural lands like Kala Titar in Abu Shahir. Some are totally nature based like Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary near Gurugram. And adventure destinations like Mountain Quail in Morni near Chandigarh. Majorly, tourist complexes are established in harmony with nature and have a picturesque landscape with all facilities available for leisure as well as business tourists. Here is an example of some of the major tourist complexes dotting the highways. The major highways are National Highway 1, National Highway 2, National Highway 5, National Highway 10 and National Highway 22. Let us discover something more about these complexes. A few of the major case studies will be discussed. First of all, we will discuss about Kingfisher Ambala. It is at the outskirts of Ambala town. Kingfisher is centrally located where all the traffic from Himachal, Punjab, Delhi converges. It is one of the right place to halt and take a relaxing break. The architectural design of this complex is outstanding. The resort with all state-of-the-art infrastructure is equally popular among residents of Ambala town who gather for family get-together and functions. Another important is Hermitage Hut Surajkun near Faridabad. Hermitage huts are a cluster of huts built to form groups where holiday makers may gather with friends and families. The hut face a compact garden. Catering is taken up at the restaurant and at the conference block. Conference facilities are also available. Sultanpur Bird Sanctuary Sultanpur National Park and Bird Sanctuary is located in Gurugram district of Haryana. 46 km from Delhi and 15 km from Gurugram on the Gurugram Farooq Nagar Road. The Sultanpur National Park is lush green with lawns and trees and shrubs and masses of bougainvillea. A good pair of binoculars is a must to clearly see the wildlife from a safe distance without disturbing them. Another important tourist complex is Bluebird. Bluebird is located in the historic town of Hisar. There lies a delightful holiday resort and it is named on the bird blue, that is Bluebird. It has been built on the Delhi Fajalika National Highway No. 10. A large water body, green lawns and open spaces make the venue a perfect place for tourists to take a breath. Luxurious decorated guest rooms have every tourist amenity. The restaurant is elegantly designed and offers smiling services. The well-equipped conference hall is ideal for conferencing as well as business meeting. The bar has a relaxed setting, perfect to soothe tired nerves. The fast food point at Oasis is also one of the famous tourist complex of Haryana tourism. Midway between Chandigarh and Delhi lies the modern Oasis tourist complex. Here is a resort that hums with activity, an open-air sitting plan, an array of glittering gift shops, temporary parking shades, filling station and well catered for public facilities invariably inspire the travellers to stop for a break. There are small swings for little ones as well. Another important is Anjan Yatrika in Pehiva. Pehiva is a spiritual town. It has spiritual as well as religious significance. Pehiva town lies 27 km west of Thanesar in Kushitra. The town finds mentioned in Vaman Puran and the epic of Mahabharata. The site is famous for prayers that grant salvation. Jatayu Yatrika Mansa Devi is another important tourist complex which is related with a pilgrimage and religious site. 
Just at the entrance of Mansa Devi Shrine, the complex is ideal for locals as well as for outsiders visiting Mansa Devi, especially during Navratras and other religious functions. Only vegetarian food is served here, keeping in mind the sentiments of the people visiting this religious place. Morni Hills and Tikartal Morni Hills and Tikartal is a nature's wonder. Morni Hills are a delightful hillside destination one can see just 45 km from Chandigarh. These hills are an offshoot of Shivaliks and run in two parallel ranges from southeast to northwest. Through these valleys, the river Gagar makes its way. 7 km from Morni, at Tikartal, two beautiful lakes take away your heart and leave you with an enthral experience. Baratal Tikartal surrounded by another Tal. Both complexes are beautiful and serve to tourists with very beautiful views. After discussing about the important tourist complexes, now we will discuss how Government of Haryana and the Department of Tourism are taking new initiative for reviving as well as prolonging the effectiveness of these tourist complexes. As we know, with time, there is always a downfall in a product if it is not innovated and it is not modified according to the demand. Same happens to the complexes of Haryana tourism. They experience a downfall in their occupancy rate and there can be several reasons for it. Some can be the internal malpractices or the external competition faced by them from the private establishment as well as the all over changing demands of the tourist. Department of Tourism Government of Haryana has taken many steps to solve this critical issue. First of all, they have thought of starting a collaborative scheme with private sector and they initiated private collaborative scheme for better upkeep and efficient services of some of these tourist complexes. Another important step taken by Department of Tourism was making ease of booking of these tourist complexes. It was realized that due to non-availability of information about tourist places as well as difficulty in booking of these hotels, there was a shortfall in revenue and citizen access to places of tourist interest. Keeping in mind the changing booking trends, Government of Haryana also thought of going digitally for booking of these tourist complexes and hence Haryana Tourism Corporation set up an e-commerce web portal which is haryanatourism.gov.in. It is an integrated online room availability system which was initiated in August 2009 and 2010 and this helped tourists as well as travel agent to access information about these tourist complexes and book it from anywhere and any time. Not only a person can book a room in this tourist complexes that is B2C business to customer Haryana Tourism also developed an initiative which is B2B that is business to business. Even a travel agent can book the resort directly by having their own login IDs and password. Also, a resort counter has been set up across 42 of its resort wherein anyone can book the room in these resorts. Further, Haryana Tourism Corporation has entered into arrangements with 36 travel agents who have been given access to make online bookings. Also for marketing and promotion of these tourist complexes, Haryana government has done a tie-up with online web portal. The system and all this digitalization has made the system more transparent, efficient and cost effective. It has provided the management to publish promotions, schemes, special offers and discounts online, which can be easily seen by the tourists as well as by the travel agents. Computerization has also made provision for withdrawing any room for maintenance if it is not ready to be able to serve to tourists. It has also significantly reduced any type of fraudulent and corrupt practices and reduced the turnaround time. All these digital initiatives has helped these tourism complexes to revive their booking and to have more of tourists at their places. Also, Haryana Tourism has diversified their tourism product, keeping in mind that there can be a combination as well as a cooperative effort to promote destination Haryana as well as these tourist complexes together. So they have diversified their product and they have started up with some new types of tourism. But while starting this type of tourism, the main aim was that these complexes should get traffic as well as tourists so that the complexes should run in profit. Especially, the government has shifted their choice from merely focusing on highway tourism to on other types of tourism as well, like ecotourism, adventure tourism, pilgrimage tourism, farm tourism, agri-tourism, golf tourism, medical tourism, and heritage tourism in order to meet new requirements. 
new tourist circuits are developed like Mahabharata circuit, Sufi circuit, ecotourism circuit, Pani Patpinja or Kurushetra circuit with the help of public-private partnership. But even when these circuits are developed, the main aim is that these tourist complexes should be used as the point of stay or accommodation that a tourist can use. Gurgaon is to be developed as a convention center, convention and exhibition hub with world-class infrastructure. Kushetra is to be developed as a pilgrimage as well as a heritage destination along with Pinjor and Surajkund with world-class infrastructure. Special sound and light shows had been started at Jyotisar so that tourists can stay till late in the Jyotisar and can enjoy this live sound and light show. Even tourist guide system has been introduced in Kurushetra. Another important marketing strategy which Haryana Tourism has developed for revival of these complexes is to give a total holiday package to tourists. So along with the accommodation at Kurushetra, Sultanpur Bird Century, Teliyar Lake Resort, Badkar Lake, Hotel Rajhans, Dabchik Resort, Sohna, Morni Hills and other adventure camps, the tourism complexes and these sightseeing are combined together so that a complete package can be offered to tourists which includes stay, sightseeing as well as transportation options. These have been very popular among tourists. Haryana Tourism has also opened Tikartal Lake Review camping complexes in which a number of camping activities have begun. Again, Haryana Tourism has taken a new initiative. It is one of the first states in the country to launch the concept of agri-tourism. Agri-tourism was very famous abroad, but Haryana is again started this concept in their state. Initially, they have taken the first step in form of promotion of farm tourism. Haryana Tourism has drew up in consultation with private sector 13 farms owners located near Delhi. It planned packages attract both domestic and foreign tourists to visit selected farms located near Delhi to get glimpse of village life and to see modern agriculture practices. So this type of new types of tourism help Haryana Tourism to revive their tourism policy as well as to revive their tourism complexes. Whatever the new tourism plan is built, the main aim is that the accommodation should be provided by Haryana Tourism complexes. After studying about all the efforts done by Haryana government, let us sum up what we have done till now. So, you will agree with me that from a state that does not possess much potential for tourism because of lack of natural resources essential for development of tourism, Haryana still has emerged as a pioneer state in the promotion of highway tourism and domestic tourism in the country. In every aspect, this state learned how to earn everything from nothing in the field of tourism by focusing on its strength and minimizing its weaknesses. Haryana was the first Indian state which established tourism policy to promote tourism. The highway tourism marks a great success story in the tourism history of the state and it has become a leading case study for other states of India as well. Even today, Haryana tourism generates large revenue for the state and has proved to be a milk cow. Haryana now offers a variety of type of tourism to tourists like farm tourism, golf tourism, mice tourism which in fact attract more tourists to the established tourism complexes. Taking inspiration from Haryana tourism, many states of India like Punjab, Rajasthan, Telangana, Himachal Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and Karnataka also have focused on their road network and work towards promoting highway tourism in their respective states. Thank you and keep learning.